recently we have used the LCD display to display the date and the time from the NTP server using the ESP32 microcontroller today we will modify our previous sketch so that we can make an analog clock that is displayed on the OLED display so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button that helps me a lot and let's dive right in so in today's project you're gonna need an ESP32 microcontroller and the OLED display so this is 128 by 64 pixels display that we can easily control using these pins we have the GND I'm gonna connect it to the GND of the board the VCC goes to the 5 volt pin or the 3.3 volts then we have to connect the SDA to the SDA of the board and the SEL goes to the SEL as you can see the SEL is the pin number 22 the SDA is the GPIO pin number 21 and that depends on the microcontroller that you have this is a node MCU32S first I'm gonna mount the OLED display on the breadboard and let's start by connecting the GND to the GND using this jumper wire we have this pin that is labeled GND next we have the VCC let's hook it up to the VN this pin outputs 5 volts the SEL goes to the SEL finally the SDA pin gets connected to the SDA after that let's plug in the USB cable so that we can program this port you could download the sketch as well as the circuit schematic the link is gonna be under the video description first you're gonna need to install few libraries that are related to the OLED display the first one is called Adafruit GFX the second one is Adafruit SSD 1306 make sure to go to the library manager and search for GFX I've already installed it just write the name the second one is by Adafruit the other libraries are built in like the wire library that is used for the I2C communication the Wi-Fi library is used to connect it to a Wi-Fi network that's why we have to provide the sketch with an SSID and password of the router I've already set it the SSID which is the name of the network it is called my network and here it is then we have the password next we have few other variables like the NTP server that we're gonna use the ESP32 microcontroller gets connected to the router then it will bring the date and the time from an NTP server that is located on the internet like pool.ntp.org you may need to change the GMT offset which is the offset between your local time and the GMT time for me it is one hour which means 3600 seconds you could search for that on the internet write GMT offset then the name of your country like Tunisia in my case it is one hour next we have the SSID display object you could call it whatever you want like display and in here we have few parameters like the size in my case it is 128 by 64 pixels display the third parameter is the address of the wire library the last parameter is the reset pin some of these OLED displays comes with a reset pin for me it doesn't that's why I'm gonna leave it as minus one and that's all what you have to change the rest of the code will use the NTP server to get the date and the time using this set local time function next we have mapped the seconds minutes and hours because we want an angle between 0 and 360 degrees so that we can make the analog clock finally we have to get the x y positions by applying some trigonometry functions after that we can use these values to display our clock for example this function is used to draw the circle around the clock and the other points to make the clock a little bit better I have displayed these numbers 12, 3, 6 and 9 using the for loop but the most important step is to draw the lines for the hour, minutes and seconds if you want to indicate the seconds using a simple circle you could uncomment this line of code and comment this one that draws a line but in order to apply these changes we have to call display.display .display so that you could see the analog clock I hope that makes sense so after you set the SID and password and the parameters that are related to your local time we can select the right board which is a node MCU32S and the port of the USB cable and let's click on this upload button if you don't know for some ESP32 boards you have to hold down the boot key for me it uploads the code directly I don't know why and there you go we have our local time and the seconds is indicated using the circle I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it 
If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.